Wolfpack runners in this final. And two doubling back from the earlier mile. Maya Ramsden of Harvard. And Amina Matug of Duke coming back. It wasn't that long ago, Lara, that the mile was run. Not at all. 13 of the 16 in this field earned cross-country All-American honors just this fall. Of course, Caitlin Tui among them. You mentioned that she's the collegiate record holder. She is going for her second title of this championship and her fourth NCAA title in 10 months, Dwight. Olivia Marcus at Jacob and Notre Dame in the lead. Field a little bit bunched up. So early in the race, as we come around with 14, 13 now laps remaining, let's step aside for a couple of field events. Dan? Well, in the women's weight throw. In the 5,000 meter yesterday, and Caitlin Tui just bided her time until she was able to break that race open with just the final few laps to go. All right, less than eight laps remaining, and we will uh, step aside again because another collegiate record set by Jasmine Moore in the triple jump. She's done it twice already. This is her sixth and final trip down the runway, her last indoor competition this year, maybe as a collegiate, we'll have to see. She chopped even a little bit before the board, but an incredible last phase, and she improves her collegiate record and personal best by another inch and three quarters, or an inch and a half, I should say, Number five all-time world, out to 15 meters, 12, 49, seven and a quarter. And it was an amazing competition. Six jumpers over 14 meters, the previous best. Three jumpers over 14 meters in a collegiate championship. So Jasmine Moore just keeps getting better and better. And now she really is a triple jumper who can contend for world level medals. Back, like back to the 3,000 meters with coming up to six laps remaining. And you like what the Alabama duo is doing right there up front, starting to push the pace a little bit. They took it over from Markezich of Notre Dame. And then also in the mix, worth noting, Taylor Rowe of Oklahoma State. She is the reigning champion in this event. I talked with her head coach, Dave Smith, about coming into this field as the reigning champion. And he said that last year, they had to convince her about two days out that she still even wanted to race. She was just filled with all sorts of nerves and self-doubt. And really, she came in seated about the same as she was last year, but she's run faster. So she's in great position as well to be in contention right there up front. Worth uh, wanting to point out as well, West Virginia's Kaylee McKay, the outstanding Canadian steeplechaser, coming into this event fresh. So one of those who has the advantage of not having all of the altitude already logged under their legs and in talking with the coaches and how the altitude affects you. We've seen a little bit of this. It's not a gradual fatigue. It's more like falling off a cliff. That's why you see such an instantaneous impact when you start to see them feeling that uh, altitude and the detriment. Caitlin Tui has come into the lead now. Mercy Chilenga has paid the price for going up and slowing the pace down. She's dropped back to sixth. Hilda Olamamoy, the Alabama runner right behind Caitlin Tui, and then Taylor Rowe up there in third place. Starting to see what Caitlin Tui does so well. She is an excellent tactician in race strategy. And here goes Taylor Rowe looking to challenge Caitlin Tui right there up front. The last back to back winner in the 3000, Abby D'Agostino from Dartmouth. That was 2013 and 2014. That's Kelly McCabe of West Virginia in fourth. But the top three are Tui, Rowe, and Olamamoy. Chalengat is now back in about eighth position. And Tui, we saw her yesterday. She has an outstanding finishing kick, but it's always better to be the hunter than the hunted, even though she's gapping row ever so slightly as they'll come around with two laps remaining. NC State coach Lori Hennis said that Caitlin's turnover has been on, a, on another level. They believe that strength is speed. She found a lot of new strength in that cross country season, which finished with the NCAA cross country title. And here she goes, kicking it up. What we have seen from Caitlin Tui over the course of her collegiate career is just how comfortable she has become winning races and getting into position to win races in a number of different ways. In high school, she was always a front runner. This time she was incredible strategic as she comes up on that bell lap 
Taylor Rowe looks like she's still trying to hang in there and maintain contact. Matui just keeps adding meters to her lead, and she certainly looks fresher and better and less affected by the altitude than does Taylor Rowe. Final lap. And it's Olivia Markazic who led early back into third place. Ola Momoy back to fourth. But it is all Caitlin Tui. She won the 5,000 meters last night with an outstanding sprint over the last several laps. And she just keeps extending her lead here in the 3,000. Caitlin Tui of North Carolina State, the senior, will be a double champion here in Albuquerque. And Marsikic comes up for second. 9-11-61 for Ollie Ostrander at altitude for Boise State back in 2019. And Tui runs 9-10-07. Her last indoor championships as a collegian. And it looks like she's the only one from North Carolina State of the three in the final to score. The coaches that we've talked to describe Caitlin Tui as just a generational talent, and she exemplifies why exactly there. She goes championship in both the 5K and the 3K, the first woman to do that since Carissa, Carissa Schweitzer of Missouri back in 2018. And that's something that will thrill a Missouri athlete's name being spoken. Caitlin Tui wins it in 9-10-07. Olivia Markazic right at the end gets second. Taylor Rowe, the defending champion, finishes third. And John is with the champion. I am with the champ. Right now we've got a hair tie uh, situation, but we'll get that. Talking with that, okay. Uh, first double at three and five since Carisha Schweitzer. And I imagine that's a better double than second and second. Uh, your thoughts on how this race uh, developed and how you decided to control it? Yeah, we talked about it beforehand and um, we talked about going with the K to go and I tried to take the lead and got held off a little bit but stuck with it, squeezed it out every lap, finished hard and yeah, it was really, really good, a lot better than last year. Size up the year for you so far. you got a cross-country championship, now two indoor titles. Just uh, how it's been so far as we're getting ready to go to the outdoor season? Um, it's been awesome. Uh, I've had a really good year with the girls. So, yeah, we're looking forward to outdoors. we got Raleigh Relays coming up. We're hosting, hosting ACC's Outdoor again. So we're looking forward to run fast in Raleigh. So it'll be a good outdoor season. Cross country champ, three and five champ. Oh, why, by the way, Dwight didn't run the mile, but I did set the collegiate record in that as well. Congratulations. Thank you. Dwight? Well, just a great 2023 season for Caitlin Tui. What a great way to go out.